came out of school and went into practice in 1972. And at that time, there were five different chiropractic associations in the state. The problem here now was, to be a chiropractor, you have to be very strong-willed. You have to be willing to somewhat move against the stream of society, especially at that time, where medicine was, of course, king. For many, many years, the chiropractic profession has been treated differently than other healthcare professions. The day-to-day -day struggle of a chiropractor in those days were, was very difficult. I think there was a consensus amongst the practicing doctors at the time and the leadership of the other organizations that as a whole, chiropractic was being diminished in less authority, less inclusion. Although the basic premise of each one was the same, chiropractic, and correction of vertebral subluxation, the difference was in ancillary procedures, nutrition, therapies. This kept the groups separate. In United We Stand, Divided We Fall. And so I was talking about coming together actually all the way back in 95. And apparently there were other people that felt the same way. Our organization is a unified, truly unified, cooperative, goal-oriented and focused organization. I think the merger was very important to pass our scope bill. Well, scope meant giving the doctors the opportunity to practice how they were educated. It was important for Michigan to be able to have an Open Practice Act that also kept chiropractic chiropractic. I'm really proud of the hard work that the MAC has done in the legal arena to protect our doctors and their patients. That we were able to settle a very successful lawsuit against Blue Cross Blue Shield and Blue Care Network. It's one of the best settlements for the chiropractic profession in the country. We continue to fight for you. Every day we make progress. We are incredibly strong since our merger. I think nationally we have a lot of work to do, but I'm hoping that you know, other states that take notice of what Michigan has done and they see that hopefully we can make that happen on a national level. We are such a small number compared to other healthcare providers and if we can't even get together on something, then there's no way we can influence others. Whether it's other healthcare providers, whether it's legislators, politicians, we need to be a one unified voice. Being involved is essential nowadays. And if you're not there on the front lines, not only uh, speaking with people, speaking with your legislators, staying connected, but also giving. We are in a lot of battles right now, and we need your help. So I hope you really consider stepping up to the plate and doing just a little bit more, because if we're not there at the table in negotiations and these policy changes, then we're going to be one of the first things that gets cut. As chiropractors, often we, we operate on an individual basis and don't always see the big picture. So having an organization like the MAC allows our efforts to be put together to accomplish the goals that we want to see passed to, that positively affect not only us, but more importantly, our patients. We have a message to get out as far as how to help people non-surgically get well. Chiropractic care is something alternative to mainstream medicine. Uh, help me find an answer to my condition. I, I don't want a, a Band-Aid. I want answers to the cause of my problem. Chiropractic needs to be the first stop, not the last stop. We are so many people's last hope but we need to stay unified because the public is so confused on what really chiropractic is. Chiropractic is chiropractic. Doesn't matter if you adjust with your hands or with an instrument, I mean, it's chiropractic. And that's why the MAC is so strong. Chiropractic to me is a lifestyle. It's not a job, it's just a way of health. I just can't imagine what people do that never get adjusted. It's, it's one of those things that uh, we have the true health care as opposed to sickness care. And today, 29 years later, I still get a big kick out of helping people and when I adjust them, and they look at me and they say, man, you've changed my life. That to me is what uh, is the rewards of chiropractic. I had a patient come in my office who had cancer that had metastasized. Her oncological surgeon referred her to our office. If that doesn't tell people how far chiropractic has come in 29 years, because that would have never happened in the early days. I wasn't practicing at a time when, when chiropractors and medical doctors didn't work together. I never saw that side of things, but I would like to see more of it. Orthopedic surgeons and physical therapists, medical doctors, massage therapists, acupuncturists. I would love to see us all come together to work together to be able to treat our patients, because that's our main goal is to get people well. I think it's so important not to sit back and just do nothing. My whole mindset is to be active and not reactive. So, and that takes all of us 
being involved, every single one of us together, to, to make a difference, and that's what the MAC does. It brings us all together. We're young, we're excited, we're eager to help people. I'm a chiropractor, and I love hanging out with chiropractors. This is my family. This is my chiropractic community, and I love coming to conventions. I love coming to board meetings because I get to see my family. <laughs>